One of the most exciting moments in a couple's life is when they discover their baby's gender. Whether you are waiting to find out or would like to be surprised, this article will provide ideas and guidelines for hosting your own gender reveal party. 1. Schedule your ultrasound. The first step for planning a gender reveal party is finding out what the baby's sex is. You can do this by scheduling an ultrasound appointment. You can also find out what the baby's sex is before you are even pregnant by using a prenatal DNA test from companies like 23andMe, Ancestry DNA, or Family Tree DNA. The best time to schedule your ultrasound is as early as possible in pregnancy so that most gender traits will be visible to the ultrasound technician. Once you determine what the baby's sex is, it's time to get started planning for your gender reveal party. 2. Decide who will be surprised. Before you let the cat out of the bag, you have to first decide who will be surprised about the baby's gender. This can be as simple as you and your husband or it can involve a large group of friends and family. Once you decide on who will be surprised, you can start to plan your party. Decide on the size of the party that will work best for you in relation to your budget. There are gender reveal parties with only two guests, just you and spouse at home. Or there may be 500 people at an elaborate wedding type affair. 3. Pick a date, time, and place. If you're planning a gender reveal party for just yourself and your spouse, it may be as simple as inviting the family over to watch the ultrasound and then later going out with their friends for dinner. If you want something more elaborate, you can do things such as having an event planner on hand or renting out a banquet hall or event facility. If you're having a gender reveal party for more than just the two of you and your family, make sure to include at least some kind of activity where people can get involved. For example, if there are only four guests in attendance then it may be as simple as opening up a box with pink or blue balloons on top, but we'll get to that later. 4. Choose a theme. After you've decided when you'll be having your gender reveal party, where it'll be at, and who will be attending, you need to decide on a theme for the party. The theme of your gender reveal party is a big decision and one that can be rather tricky. It's not as simple as choosing a color or deciding on which gender you are having the party for. It has to mesh with your entire vision of what this event is going to be like. For example, if you're hosting an outdoor barbecue style party at your house then you'll want to plan for a gender reveal that won't be ruined by rain. It also has to mesh with the colors you've chosen for your decorating scheme, and of course, it doesn't hurt if it meshes well with what food items are being served at the party. There are some other great gender reveal party themes ideas on the Kate Aspen website over at https colon slash slash www.kateaspen.com slash blog slash Kate dash Aspen dash blog slash nine dash themes dash for dash a dash gender dash reveal dash party. 5. Prepare the games. Breathe. We're making progress on planning your gender reveal party. The next step is to decide what sorts of gender reveal games you want to play at the party. There are tons of gender reveal party games to get you started. Hint. These can be modified for a co-ed event by changing the word, boy, or, girl, in your instructions. The most popular game is pin the diaper on the gender baby, where guests try and pin an oversized diaper on a person you designate as the baby. Other popular gender reveal party games are Gender Scramble. Guests put a gender reveal puzzle together and try to guess the gender of your baby. Guess who moved into the baby's room? Guests are given two clues about where they moved recently, one of which is true for them but not the other guests. They then have to figure out who was telling the truth, and who is lying. 6. Plan the food and drinks. The next step in planning your gender reveal party is the most important, the food and drinks. The only rule of thumb is to make sure that there are some healthy options for food, as you never know, someone may be trying for a girl this time. Below are 5 ideas about what kind of foods and drinks can go well with your theme. Mexican Fiesta Party. Whether it's tacos or chips and guacamole, Mexican food is always a hit. Add some margaritas and a piñata to really bring the party alive. 4th of July Barbecue. Food from this theme includes hot dogs, hamburgers, chips and dip, watermelon slices. Add blueberries for decorations, or red if you're doing a gender reveal with someone who's not pregnant. Pizza party. There are so many options when it comes to pizza, but we would recommend a variety of cheese and pepperoni pizzas for this party. Drinks. 
A gender reveal is a perfect time to break out some fresh fruit punch or blended strawberry smoothies. Creating your own theme. If you really want to get creative with your food and drink, you can make your own theme. Maybe choose a color scheme and then decide what foods or drinks could fit into that category. 7. Decorate. Decorating for your gender party can be fun and an easy way to feed those, nesting, urges that expecting mothers frequently have. Gather your favorite decorations from around the house to create a gender reveal party theme with ease. If you don't have any decor stored away already, then visit your local party store to stock up on balloons, banners, and other party essentials. Make a banner for the gender reveal with words like, it's a boy, or, it's a girl. Place balloons around your home in either blue or pink colors as well as throughout your yard. It's always fun to have some outside decorations too. 8. Enjoy the party. Now comes the fun part, enjoying your gender reveal party. Plus, this is likely where you'll actually reveal your baby's gender. Some ways that you can reveal your baby's gender to your party guests are Gender reveal cake. Bake, or buy, a cake with a gender-neutral colored frosting on the outside. Have the inside of the cake colored pink or blue for your big reveal. Balloons with confetti. Fill helium balloons with pink or blue confetti that you pop to reveal the gender of your baby. 9. Thank your guests. After the baby's gender has been made known and the guests have left, be sure to send a thank you note to all of your party's guests. You can send a formal card in the mail, an email, or a simple thank you on social media. Include the gender of your baby in each thank you note, so all of the people who attended know what happened at your party. Address it to one person, X, Aunt Jane, and write a personal message on their behalf thanking them for coming or congratulating them if they were able to guess correctly. 10. Final step. Wait for your baby's big day. Now, all that's left for you to do is to wait on your new baby to make his or her grand entrance. That's it. Hopefully, this article on how to plan the ultimate gender reveal party helped you get started on the planning process. Don't forget to put your final touches on these gender reveal party ideas by adding any other creative twists or additions that may come to mind while reading this article. If you need an ultrasound to learn your baby's sex, contact us today.